since the start of the Wimbledon Championships and through the years of watching tennis, I have heard the phrase, this is not how a sportsman behaves. So many times that it makes me sick. This phrase just screams privilege and I am tired of these so-called tennis fans only accepting one way of playing the sport that we love. Gatekeeping is always infuriating in any walk of life. But when it's done so obnoxiously as it is done by the purists in the tennis world, it just brings me and I suppose many others more joy to see those non-sportsmen achieving great goals and rubbing salt into the wounds of the critics. What the fuck does playing fair tennis even mean? Because it seems that tennis is this abstract sport where putting pressure mentally on the opponent is considered unfair even though almost in every other sport the majority of victories are earned by athletes mental toughness and the game that is played basically goes on the back burner so if you are mentally able to be tougher why are you then considered a cheat or even better if these unsportsmanlike players lose the plot and lose the match because of that why are purists still mad and take everything, everything to the heart that much? Not everything that happens in the world should be taken as personally as it is taken in the tennis world. At the end of the day, don't you want these thugs to lose? And don't get me started on those people who act like this behavior was not common in the 90s, 2000s or 80s even. It has always been a part of the sport, but for some reason these old guys are considered gentlemen, whilst modern players are considered thugs. Nowadays every old guy and their mom is beefing with Kyrgios in hopes of becoming relevant again, like big Boris Becker has previously. Boris Becker is in jail by the way now. Like those very unbiased commentators on BBC who think that it is normal to criticize Nick for eternity about every single mishap that he has committed, accuse him of faking injuries and they love to call him disrespectful whilst being disrespectful themselves. The lack of self-awareness of these individuals is staggering at times. And here lies the truth. Tennis idealistically wants to create these perfect athletes because somehow, some way, in their minds that is great for the sport. But obviously there is no such thing as a perfect sportsman or a perfect human even. Closest thing to that in the tennis world is probably Rafa Nadal, but still you definitely can consider him perfect. And I am not saying that all tennis players now should act outrageously on the court and outside of it. What I am saying is it is ridiculous to find someone like Ostapenko 10,000 just because she knocked down a chair after a loss. I don't care how unsportsmanlike it was, these types of things should never warrant a 10k fine. But most importantly for the role model athletes, there might come a time where being respectful stoic and robotic at times will not be possible and the mask will slip and those so-called perfect sportsmen will not be so perfect anymore. The main point is that I want to see players being genuine and they shouldn't feel the pressure of fulfilling some ridiculous standards because I'd rather watch someone who is unapologetically an asshole than someone who is an asshole but acts like a saint because of the pressures put on him. Like the video, subscribe to the channel for more content and lastly, if you do not agree with the things that were said in the video, I suggest you take a deep breath and take it easy my friend.